Romantic Heidelberg. High above the Neckar River, the city's landmark castle is in full view from the old bridge. In the Advent period, Heidelberg's old town turned into a giant Christmas market boasting 140 stands. The ice skating rink at Karlsplatz is a favourite with children. Meanwhile, the grown-ups, Heidelbergers and tourists alike get to warm themselves with mulled wine, a must for every Christmas market. I love the smell and the taste of it. It puts Christmas in your stomach. We do enjoy with uh, this drink and we will try it again next time. It's the best thing about Christmas, mulled wine and seeing friends at the Christmas market. In the Christmas market in Heidelberg's old town, Christoph Schneider has been serving mulled wine for the past 25 years. Whenever there's a lull, he lifts the pot lid and lets out the fragrant steam to draw more customers. Most people come after work, after 5 p.m. Then it gets really full. People are having a good time. Christoph Schneider is especially proud of his new creation, a mulled Merlot. It's less sweet than conventional mulled wines. People say they drink three or four of them and still don't have a headache the next day. The grapes for the wine grow on these slopes. The Adam Müller Vineyard in Lyman is a 20-minute drive from Heidelberg. Wine grower Matthias Müller offers mulled wine not only in a classic red variety, but in white and even rosé. Traditionally, mulled wine is made of red wine, which is how we make it. But in recent years, there's been rising demand for white wine because white wine has less tannin. It's lighter, fruitier, which is why people want a white mulled wine. And in Heidelberg, we have a third variant, a rosé mulled wine. It was made for Pink Monday a charity event for an AIDS organization. But what is responsible for that special Christmassy taste of mulled wine? Natalie Müller, who works together with her husband, reveals a family secret. The recipe we still use today is a very simple recipe from our great-grandmother Greta. In terms of the ingredients, we use just three spices, cloves, star anise and cinnamon. And the fruits are classic lemon and orange. The ancient Romans used to spice and sweeten their wine when it was too sour. In the Middle Ages, people believed in the healing properties of the fruity drink. In Germany, mulled wine first became commercially available in large quantities in the 1950s. Back in Heidelberg, the mulled wine goes well with the hearty winter specialties like potato pancakes and mushrooms. There are a surprising number of mulled wine stands here. Local people say wine is simply a traditional part of the Heidelberg lifestyle. Sugar, dried fruit and lots of spices are the ingredients that go into making mulled wine at Rita Face stand. We're the only stand still making the mulled wine ourselves after 31 years. It's a lot of work, it's crazy, but we love it. And it's great quality for our regular customers. And mulled wine is good business too. The stands turn quite a profit here. I feel warm and keep warm. <laughs> yes. This is my first mulled wine of the year and the fragrance goes through my nose into my entire body and gives me such a feeling of home. The typical smell of a Christmas market is not the gingerbread, it's the mulled wine. And with that, the city of Heidelberg is well equipped for the cold winter season.